Little girl! Little girl, come back! Come back! I'm, I know you want to see some animals, but there's nobody, nobody over here. Please turn around. As you can see, okay, well, maybe you can't see right there, but as you can see, we do have some critters over here. Please, come with me. Come, oh, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Come here, come here. She wants to view some animals, but the poor thing, she's just totally confused. Let's put her right over here. Oh, now she's going to the gift cart. Well, that's fantastic. Also, what are you doing sitting down still? I'm quite concerned about you, old Milda. You haven't really been doing much. Get up off the bench for once. Ah. Oh, and there she goes. Off to the gift cart, I think. Well, that worked out wonderfully in turn. Sometimes you just have to take these strays under your wing and make sure that they're directed appropriately. What? What? That was a full trash can, Omilda. A full trash can. Get off that bench. Ugh. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on her. Alright, I'm gonna check out what she buys. She's checking out the turtles. Oh, cute! What is that? It's a sea turtle plushie! Oh, and speaking of our sea turtles intern, I've been thinking, you know? Oh, listen to that music. Da, 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 da. Dance, dance, dance. The sea turtles are going to be so popular. While you were gone, I was working super hard with them to make sure that they were trained up on some of the most amazing skills. Oh, look, and the sea turtle grew up in here. You want to see something awesome, intern? You want to see something absolutely amazing? Okay. Come here, sea turtle number two. Alright, I want us to practice. Oh, we can't do it. Well, never mind. Sea turtle number one. What's one of the- uh-huh, this one. This one, I was saving it to show you. I have taught them how to forge in this pile of rocks. Alright, let's try this out. You're gonna come down here and dig out a crab. There's a fishy in there, or a crab. One of the two. See? And then the sea turtle comes down, kind of moves around the rocks. Then she has a yummy, yummy fish to eat! Isn't that so cute? Oh, and they know how to play basketball, they know how to look cute, and they know how to jump. We are going to make buku bucks. Buku bucks. Because the, I have been realizing something in turn. The money really is in the marine shows. People love watching these animals be cute. And I was thinking, we need more money. It just occurred to me, that's how we get really cool animals. That's how we expand our exhibits, is we add more money. So, we are going to train these guys. Oh, 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 crap, water filters. That woman, I think that it's time to let Umilda go. She just is not doing her job the way she should. Oh, and Daisy just laid more eggs. All right, come here. Come here, see the film number one. I can't remember, are you Sammy? I saw the names that you left, intern. Saw the names. Oh, fully trained. There we go. Are you the boy or the girl, huh? You're the little girl, so you are Samantha. We gotta give them a name, intern. Gotta, to, what is it called? Like, streamline them? Byline? Things like that? We're gonna make a big deal out of these shows. And here's Sammy. Sammy and Samantha. They're gonna be our two sea turtles. And we're gonna make a big show. And hopefully, this show will be the example of such ultimate cuteness. Let's see, we might want to. Come on. There we go. The show will be the example of such ultimate cuteness that everybody will come over here and they'll pay good money, good donations to have the show playing. So let's see, let's see. Both the sea otters, thank goodness, know all their tricks. We're working on the belugas. I, whoop, oh, yeah, that's right. Well, let's clean this water filter first. Mm, frequent. Let's do normal. Normal cleaning of the tank. There we go. Clean that right up. There's so many sea turtles. Oh no! Oh no! Dive in and turn, they're out of food! They're out of food! Clean the water up. I even, while you were away, and as you can tell, we've gained quite a bit of money. Uh, I've been working, I've been balancing the budget. Clean the water. Gamera! Gamera, let me down! Now is not the time for swimming. I have been balancing the budget book because I thought about it, and there's some amazing animals up for adoption. Can you believe we are already almost a five-star zoo? Let's see, that's a rock. Where am I going? Through the kelp forest, that's right. Not now, Sea Turtle 22. Jeez, there's so many of them. Also, I have bad news. The black-tipped sharks have passed away of old age. They only lasted a few months. I was quite surprised, I will admit it. I expected those guys to be around a lot longer, and it just wasn't so... Alright, let's wiggle down here. Hi, sea turtles. As soon as we're done. But, 
How do we take care of our animals? How do we make sure? Peach. Oh, let's pull that up. Nice, he turned. Oh, is that yummy? This is so good. Aww. Well, I'm glad Sea Turtle number nine is happy. Let's see, then. Jeez. These guys eating so much. You know, we should get Jackson a mate. But we have bigger plans in turn. Really big plans. I can't wait to show you what we have available for adoption. And I'm seriously considering it. And I have another, another jellyfish lure. Uh, that's okay. All right, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Because it's pretty amazing. Look at this. A whale shark! An actual whale shark! We can adopt a whale shark. Oh, can you imagine? I'm thinking that we're gonna put it right over here. A beautiful biome fit just just for the pl plagic? Pl plagic? Hmm. Just for these deep water guys. We'll make it nice and long and people can come through and we'll make it like all covered so they feel like they're underwater too and we'll deck things out. What? What? What are you wandering around the zoo honestly? Dave, 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 please, Dave. There you go, Dave. Please. Be more be more realistic. Alright. Okay. Okay. That's our hippo. That's our hippo climbing a cliff outside of its exhibit. We're gonna put our hippo over here. Where there's food. It's also very lonely. We should probably adopt another hippo. Let's clean that up. There you go. Are you alright? Oh dear, that was that was quite distressing. Where are you going? Going to rest in the hay bed. Well, I can help you out closer to that. There you go, my friend. Oh my gosh. That was quite upsetting. Do we have another hippo? We're gonna go ahead and get this hippo a girlfriend, even though it's a lot of money. Because I feel very bad. That poor hippo. Oh, and there's poop in its bed. Gotta clean it. it I don't even know. I don't even know how it got up there in turn. There's no cracks in the fencing. Oh, that was ridiculous. All right, but so shows. <gasps> Four and a half stars, yes! Shows are definitely the way to go in turn. They're the way we can bring more people in, get more stars, get more money. It should be fantastic. So let's set up a show with Sammy and Samantha who are both fully trained. And there's some cute, cute things they can do. Let's see, forge in the pile. Three and a half stars, two and a half stars. So looking cute and jumping is two and a half stars. Three stars for opening up their toy shaker. Three stars for playing with the basketball hoop. And three and a half stars for forging in the pile of rocks. Well first, let's have them wow the crowd by jumping in. And then let's have them jump up and look adorable. Let's have them look really, really cute. Hope there's enough room, it's gonna be a tight fit. And then everybody will be like, Aw, that was adorable! And then we'll just have them jump again. Just to remind everybody, hey, we can jump. And then we're gonna surprise everybody by letting them open up their toy. And after that, we're gonna really wow everybody with the ball trick. And everyone will be like, what did I just see? So they'll want to see the ball trick again. Because the ball trick, oh man, in turn, the ball trick is the shiznes, the bee's knees. You just wouldn't believe it. And then everyone will be like, wow. And you'll be like, yeah. Yeah, we're that cute. We're that darn cute. And then, and then to top it off, we'll finish it off with forging in a pile of rocks. Or maybe, maybe actually we should switch it. We'll do forging in a pile of rocks. Whoops. Let's see, we want to try to reuse the props that we've already got out. Forging in a pile of rocks and then do too cute to finish it off. There. There. And we're gonna call it the cute show. There we go. Huh. Cute show. Because the cute show doesn't fit. Cute show one. And whoops, there we go. There. Okay. Then we'll let them have whoops. Add a little break in between the shows. Good, so the cute show comes on in 30 seconds. Excuse me, 30 minutes. Cough cough. And then in about two hours, Triple B's comes on over with the belugas. But this is how I think we're going to attract people over here, intern, is by having animals that can do shows and tricks and all sorts of fun things. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay, let's run over here and empty this water filter before the belugas start freaking out. And then let's go watch the show. Because the show is where we're going to make money, intern. Mega money. We're going to be total, like, awesome tycoons of this. Alright, alright. 
simply. Let's watch the show. All right, it's so crowded in here. Can't see a darn thing. Noted, we'll have to fix that. Hi, buddy. It's a very poorly uh, graded show right now. And I think actually we need to cancel things after this and fix the freaking props. The props are just in the way. We might even have to make the show a little bit bigger. Hmm. Oh good! By the way, I hired a new trainer. It looks like the trainer has fully trained Benny 2 in the Skyhawk for the trick area. Good, good, good. Alright, what's next, guys? Oh, there they go. There's their look cute. There's look cute one. Are you gonna do it? Oh, it's looking cute alright. I hope you guys appreciate this. They're not paying attention right now, but they will. Oh wait, I think everybody over there is paying attention. Let's go see. Oh, and that one's eating a fish. Are you guys watching the show? They're watching the show! And they're enjoying it! That trick was awesome! The show is starting! Good, good! That's what I want to see. Bring donations this way, guys. Right there, there's a box. Right there. In fact, we should probably make this area look a little nicer. But, now is probably the time to get more animals in turn. More critters! Because our reef tank is looking awful scarce. We only have some turtles floating around in it. That just won't do. I looked around though, and we didn't want a caribou. Honestly, why do they always offer me a caribou? But pygmy right well. Also one of those deep sea guys. Oh, that would be so nice to have. And we do have these guys. We have this little uh, cryptoclidius or whatnot, and some ammonites. And I was thinking, well, we could put them in this reef tank, but I'm feeling more like sharks and turtles in this reef tank. And what we should probably do with those guys, the prehistoric guys, is make another prehistoric reef tank. And I have the perfect spot for it. Also the perfect spot to add the ever-popular blue-nosed dolphin. So we've got some projects to undertake in turn. First off, these flatback turtles. Uh, quite expensive, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, let's see. But I think they'll be worth it because there's almost nothing inside this tank right now. So we're gonna go ahead and get a couple of those guys. And Bella is giving birth yet again. I am telling you, intern, there is no problem among the belugas for breeding. We're doing really good there. And so then I'm thinking that we need to start working on this side of the zoo. Man, we really should have put off adopting that darn hippo, but I just felt so bad. Oh dear, and there's a lot of poop again. Let's climb in here. And... Hi! Hi, big hippo! Not to mention the hippo is actually rather popular with the people. Alright, let's see. Any hippo poop? Let's swim over to the other side and check. I wonder if we could add... Nope, that's just a log. I thought it was just a hippo poop pile, but we're good. What about you, Mr. Nile Crocodile? Colosseum Wetlands. You are no longer suitable for this area, my friend. I don't think. I mean, I think we could try. <gasps> Intern, what is this? A Caspian seal? Oh, he's beautiful. Look how beautiful he is. And he's a coastal. Hmm. Oh, good. Good. Umilda is actually working on things. I guess we'll keep her. So yeah, people are pretty entertained. They're watching the shows. They're just not watching the shows over by where the shows are. Oh yeah, and we definitely need to edit the shows. Figure out where things are going. What? Okay, whatever. It's already up to a one and a half star show. We'll take care of that later. We gotta work on stuff. Like making this look nicer. Gotta work on over here. This is the area I have mapped out. I'm thinking we're gonna put the coastal dinosaurs right here. And then we'll put the bottlenose dolphins right here. So we can have like the show area right here, the actual tank area right here, and what 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 animals are they? Let me see. Bottlenose, bottlenose. There's our adoption sheet for the bottlenose. They are coastal, so we can actually move like some of the sea turtles in, some of the other coastal animals in here. So we'll put them here. Is the Caspian seal? They're also coastal. I'll have to think about that. But yes, so bottlenose dolphin right here. I'm feeling it. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty good because the more animals we have doing shows, the more money we bring in. The more money we bring in, the faster. Whoop, 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 whoop. Calm down, guys. Honestly, Sammy and Samantha. 
Uh, maybe one of the first things I'm gonna get for these guys. Let's check. The seashells are good. Kelp is good. All right, they're good. I'm surprised they haven't had any babies yet. I was really expecting sea otter babies sooner. Hmm. Got a couple people to come visit them. We gotta have more pool over here in turn. More pool. Have to make people come that way. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Lots of turtles in there. Gotta get some sharks in there when the option. What the heck? What is going on? Bella, the second. That doesn't even. That doesn't even make any sense. What is going on with our animals? The scapees. Animals escaping everywhere. That is ridiculous. Yeah, Bella needed something to eat. She also needed to be in the water. Jeez, Bella. Making me worry. Alright, so Beth is being trained up right now. Let's see, what does she know? Okay, so she's getting trained pretty well. We might go help out with that in a little bit. Oh, cute show one is about to start. Alright, intern, so what do you think? Think that's a good plan? We're gonna put the bottom nose dolphins over here. We're gonna put the little, uh, let's see. I'm gonna put this crew. Our ancient animals. I still really, really want this speckled longfin eel. Oh, there's that turtle again. Alright, come here, honey. What, we'll put you in the maternity pen. There you go. There you go. Oh, that reminds me. We have donations. Birth balloons and donations. There. I wonder how much money we've got. That's a nice little addition. Also, it's about time we filled in this hole. Yes. About time we took care of this. It's not a very inspiring entrance. Honestly, in turn, I'm surprised we have come so far <laughs> with so little. Let's see, that's a concrete path. What I want... It's just the sand. We're just gonna be practical. What's this? What's this? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, another sea turtle has just given birth. Very cautiously. There we go. That's another big chunk. You know what? Actually, nope. Okay, that's fine. Just checking if we can do that. Let's go ahead and fill all this in with sand in turn. We wanna try to make it look somewhat nice, you know? Maybe we'll even add some plants. Come here. Make you go there. Make you go here. There. That's looking a lot better than just some random concrete. Can we not? Mm, can't go any further. That's okay. It's better than nothing, in turn. Better than nothing. And it's cheap just to spread a bit of sand around. People have to know what they're in for. Sand everywhere. I mean, we go home and find sand in the weirdest places. What? You are too contained, but I wouldn't be surprised since everybody is escaping and doing weird things lately. Well, look how much money we have already! The show's in turn! That's where it all is at! The show's, the show's, the show's. I think that it's gonna be just fine. Alright, let's see. Should we start with the... the bottlenose dolphin? I think that it's more economical to start with the bottlenose dolphin exhibit. So, you know, let's see, where's the marine? Probably got a marine show tank. So, I'm thinking put it in, we'd put it in like, you know, like, hmm, maybe a little bit, like right here, and right here, let's make it nice and big, so maybe these guys will finally have enough room to do all their freaking tricks, yeah, look at that, that's a nice big one, maybe they'll finally have enough space, alright, and then, what we can do, let's see, where's the, don't need the opaque, opaque tank wall. Then what we can do is come over here. Kind of do this. It's going to be huge. We're going to have lots and lots of people. Let's see, put this over here. Man, maybe we don't need to make it too, too big. Alright, let's see. Acrylic tank wall. There. Okay. Kind of pull it over here. Maybe we'll go like halfway, halfway in, like there. Boom. All right, so here's our bomb nose dolphin area. Now we just have to slowly wait until we save up enough money that we can actually afford to make it into a proper bomb nose dolphin area. And we're gonna move the bathroom like way, way over here next to where the shoes go. All right, where's that shovel? Let's spread some sand down and turn, come along. Oh, see, and the shoes are starting again. Who knows? We might have enough money. You never know. Alright, let's get 
this over here. What? I have hungry little ones. All right, let's move this wet lambs rock. There. How are you doing, hippo? Okay, the hippo's doing good. Gotta worry about that hippo. You never know how things might go. Let's put that there. Oh, things are really developing. They're really coming together. I'm pretty excited. Now that we're actually starting to bring in some real money, I'm feeling the tycoon part of my job. And the green sea turtle 23 is pregnant. All right, we're gonna turn this into a coastal area, slowly but surely. We're gonna turn this into a dolphin, uh, like, dolphin little display area. I hope that's big enough. Is that big enough? That's not big enough. The beluga's needed a bigger tank. Hmm. Hmm. I just never make these tanks quite big enough. But they take up so much room! Like, I think we don't need this whole section of beluga tank. I might take that out one day and uh, put some restaurants or something, some, some eateries there. But that's all planning, in turn. That's just all some, some nifty little planning we've been doing. And let's see, so what do we need to save up for our bottlenose dolphins? A lot of money. That's the answer, is a lot of money. Why are you hungry? Why are you hungry? Look! There's grapes everywhere! And in case you were wondering in turn, because I do know you love these little lizards, the little lizards are doing fine. Though I do adopt them out in the bucket loads. Let's just get through here and clean everybody. Oh my gosh, bubbles. Bubbles everywhere! Alvin, I saw you. They love playing with these bones, by the way. That is the cutest thing in the world when they play with these bones. You guys doing good? Replenishing the berries. Replenishing the food. Is it good? Good. Yep. Woo! Alright, so those are the plans. Oh, and I need to let you see the super cute thing that that our little guys can do. Do you know if I can ever... I don't know if we'll be able to see it, actually. Because they're kind of in the way. Alright, let's see. What part of the super... Oh, super cute shows up to two levels now. I'll have to fix this over here to you. Alright, do you super cute things? Where's the other otter? Oi, do you know where the other otter is? Alright, what you doing, buddy? Are you gonna do your ball trick? See, there's the basketball right there. Are you gonna do your ball trick? You know, he's eating a, he's eating a fish. Where's our other one? Where's the other sea otter? Hmm. Well, this is just messed up, my friend. So I'm gonna have to take care of this. Also, another sea turtle needs to go in the maternity pen. Let's put that one there. Let's put her. Come here, come here. Where do we put you back in here? And we'll have more eggs! Oh, it's an ever-evolving world here, intern. And that filter is filthy. I've gotta clean it. I'm gonna watch her lay her eggs. You go get a break, grab a sub, grab a drink. I'll meet you back here in just a little bit, after after lunch break, okay? And then we'll get to work on tending to some of the other areas of the zoo, like the filthy filters. I am gonna have to have a talk with old Milda. She is just not keeping up with us. And we'll start saving up and hopefully have our bottlenose dolphin soon.